Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from ADM Crazy Reviews. Western women. They explain why they still can't get men overseas. You know, it's passport, sis, but they really don't put in the work like men do to assimilate and to understand other cultures. So please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And uh, let's get to that chow. It's chow time. I, you have to be honest. Am I ugly? Yes or no? No, you're not. I wouldn't say you're ugly. You're definitely on the overweight side. But most people in China are not going to see you as a long-term relationship. They're, they'll see you as a maybe, you know, a pump and dump because you're exotic. Most Asian men have probably have never been with African-American black women. It's something they probably would like to try, but it's not life material to them. I'm going to be honest and say that I've been struggling with dating while traveling. I feel like I'm at a point in my life where I'm no longer interested in just one night stands and short flings and I want something. Hear that guys? In a point in her life where she's not wanting one night stands and flings anymore. What, because she's 30 now, right? Real and lasting. And that's hard to find when you're moving constantly. That's what we always talk about. In their 20s, those women are having a lot of one night stands, a ton of flings, they're getting ran through. And then once they get older, they start getting less and less attention from men. That's when they want to get serious. That's when they want to get married. She's basically saying that she's already done all of that. Yep. White passport hey, sister caught so HIV at I'm a sure resort a in Jamaica. Are wondering. I did a story time a long time ago, but I think it's time for another one. Um, but back in, I think it was what, 2007 now? Um, I lot. went on a girl's trip with a few friends to Jamaica. This sounds like that movie all over again, how Stella got her goof back. If your girl or your wife goes on a girl's trip, your marriage or relationship is over. Because women usually go on girl's trips so they can get their backs blown out. <sighs> Story time. I have a friend that his wife takes girl trips to like Mexico and to Florida and stuff. I can't tell the man. I, I want to tell him what's happening. Like, I'm not 100% that she is doing these things. But, you know, us being in here, us with the knowledge that we have, me watching women do crazy shit all the time. I'm almost damn positive she's cheating on him in one way or another. Because she's done, she does these trips like multiple times a year. And he'll just chill at home. He's a nice guy. I love him. He's he's one of my good friends. I wouldn't say like, you know, a close, close friend, but he's a good friend. And um, sometimes I just don't want to break the news to him. And I, I still haven't broke the news to him. I've told other friends about what I feel about it, but they've told me I shouldn't tell him. And I feel bad. I don't know what to do. You guys let me know. Should I tell the guy? You know, like, you know, but... Now, she's never going to tell you this, but that's the way it normally goes. Um, we just went to go have fun, get away, and I ended up having a little bit too much fun. It is the truth. I ended up having a one-night stand with somebody who worked at the resort um, and obviously didn't use protection, came home, and ended up getting really, really sick about a week after I got home. I found HIV in my system, and the rest is history. Ouch ouch you know we, we that's one thing we don't talk about a lot is fucking stds that is right it's rampant it's rampant in new york it's rampant in atlanta it's probably rampant here in los angeles it's probably rampant everywhere you know and the worst one is hiv you know it's what you know kills a decent amount of people bruh the craziest thing about this is the fact that a lot of times when those women go overseas, they don't even use protection with those guys, which is what that's actually crazy to me. Like the likelihood of me going overseas and not using protection is so like slim to none. Like, holy crap. I don't know. Even if like I, I met a woman out there that is a virgin, it's not like I'm going to 
believe that shit, you know, like you still have to protect yourself. Like even as a man or a woman, like I don't get why women are so more willing now to let men go inside of them without protection. It's it's a bigger risk on the women, in my opinion. Why they either come back sometimes pregnant or they come back with a gift. A very common reason about why an expat woman has moved back home is because they cannot find someone to date. So let's look at the circumstances. Expat women and local men typically don't date. Western women, when they travel, the problem they have is that when they travel, they bring their bad behaviors with them. Yeah. They bring their bad. We talk about this all the time, guys. They can't assimilate. They've already been used to this boss babe lifestyle. They don't know how to respect other people, even the, the normal, genuine respect that we give each other, especially other countries, especially Asian countries. Baggage with them. And when they go to a place, let's say like Indonesia, for example, the local guys are not going to put up with that crap. No. Here's an example. This Western woman went to Egypt and this is the way she's behaving. My uncle asked why you choose this. I think this is a 90 day plan, I'll say clip. clause to do. Uh, well, because uh, Mahmoud likes me to cover my body. And in America, that's not really normal. I won't wear hijab. I don't cover my hair. She has no respect for the guy's culture. It's not like you have that much hair in the first place. You, you, sh you cut it short. <laughs> and this is the way most Western women behave when they go overseas. Expat women who are interested in expat men don't have much luck there either because those guys are interested in the local women. Mm -hmm. So that creates a very small pool of men for, for single heterosexual expat women today. Yeah, that's because those guys are getting away from you. They want no part of you. Nope. The goal was to go overseas and get something different. Those guys don't want to date you. And on top of that... Right? Why would we go to another country just to date a Western woman? <laughs> <laughs> That's counterintuitive. <laughs> We've got to see if the expat women even like that guy back. So it's definitely an influencing factor in making any individual stay in a country. But as for me, a very eligible single woman, I'm sticking around in Singapore for a very long time. <laughs> After almost three years of living in Mexico, two months in, I ended up meeting a taxi driver. I did not know that I was going to fall in love with a taxi it's funny. So in Mexico, you're willing to date a taxi driver, but I'm pretty damn positive you're not willing to date a taxi driver in the U.S. You know, or an Uber driver. Why did your standards all of a sudden drop? <laughs> Is it because you can't get anybody out there? Taxi driver ended up dating for two years, Damn. on and off. So maybe like a year and a half. And two months ago, we decided like, yeah, this might not work. Is it we or was it the guy's decision to move on? You know, they're not going to say anything that makes them look bad. Nope. I was like, I'm going to take some, it's like, I'm joking. No, I was like, I'm about to be outside in these Mexican streets ASAP. She belongs to the streets. What do they say? <laughs> the best way to get over a man is to, and you know, not saying that's what I was doing, but that's what they be saying now. They do say that. My turn. You weren't doing it, but you're saying it yourself. Okay. I downloaded all the dating apps. I downloaded like Tinder, Bumble. I'm like, I'm out here. I'm outside in these Mexican streets. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. The best way to do it is to get on the Mexican carousel. And she's about to get on the Mexican carousel. When the streets call, you got to answer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, I missed you. The streets are calling and I'm going. The dates I've had these past few weeks sometimes makes me want to contact my ex the taxi driver to say hey <laughs> how many times i have heard italian men only like american women because they think you're easy it's such a common stereotype and i think it's hilarious i wonder where he got that from that's probably why i like american women because they're somewhat easy that's so let me explain like. what is happening when an American woman comes to Italy. Effectively, you have a woman that has just rejected her entire country of men. So out of the entire world, she has narrowed it down and selected you. 
So if at the time that she crosses your path, you find that she put up less resistance than you might have anticipated, realize two things have happened. One, she knows exactly what she wants and she isn't playing games. It's funny how they say it about women, but when men do this, we're predators, unpatriotic, uh, you know, taking advantage of people. Serious? Two. She's extremely picky and went to your country to find what she was looking for. Oh. She went all the way. So the, but the men are nasty when we're so extremely picky to go look for a, a woman in another country. <laughs> it's like the, the hypocrisy of some of the, the statements that women make against passport bros. But when it comes to other women doing the exact same thing, you know, different words get used. I, I wonder why. Way to Italy to find a man. And she's still somehow single. Do you know why? It's because she still brings her bad behaviors. Yep. She still carries her baggage with her. And those guys are not going to fall for that. It doesn't matter where she goes. She's still going to be who she is. Mm -hmm. The fuck? She's not easy. You just won the lottery. Okay. The delusion is so strong with these women that travel, you know, they definitely don't eat their chow. And we're not stopping them. We're not saying you can't do these things. We're just pointing things out, you know, like you can do you. So let us do us. We're, we're not upset about it. We're going to point out the hypocrisy shit about it, of course, but we just want to be left alone in peace. That's what we want. That's it. Please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.